Good evening, friends. Dr. Jim Daly here, the astronomy for change. Something that's quite uncommon. We're going to be witness to towards the end of this month. On December 21st, this year's winter solstice, we're going to be witness to a double conjunction of the planets Jupiter and Saturn, a brilliant display where a casual glance you will just see the two giant planets as one in the sky looking towards the southwest. We open this evening, we open our view tonight looking south southwest. Today's date, 12 7, December 7th, a little after 5 p.m. Okay, you can see set just after sunset is Jupiter and Saturn nestled uh, close together, still not in what you would call a conjunction configuration, but that's coming. Okay, so what I'd like to do is we're going to use Stellarium and got again a, and get a sense of um, our sky also, the local, the stars in the area, uh, in the region, uh, the directions, and so forth. Okay, so to do that, we're going to turn off the atmosphere, turn on the constellations, and their names. Over here, we have the bright star Fomalhaut. Fomalhaut's only 25 light years away. So the light we see tonight from Fomalhaut left it, if you're 25, it left it on, the, on when you were born, and it's just arriving tonight. Fomalhaut is uh, interesting in that it was one of the first, it's a young star, similar to the star Vega we talked about earlier, uh, in that it has a, a very prominent dust ring surrounding it, in which the Hubble telescope has identified a large planet in orbit in, in a dust ring, and we've actually calculated the orbit of this exoplanet. But that's kind of an aside. What I want to do tonight is focus on these two big planets, Jupiter and Saturn, and what will become towards the end of this month, a site to be seen, that won't be seen rather, until the year 2080. All right, this double conjunction like this between these two planets won't be seen until the year 2080, 60 years from now. Okay, so just so you get a sense of where we are, Sagittarius is just setting. Sagittarius is a prominent summer constellation, and because we're already approaching the, the winter solstice, which is the 21st of December this year, is the, uh, is the winter solstice. So where the sun is at its lowest point in the sky, and thus the lowest angle of insulation or the incident energy from the sun, and thus we have our, the coldest time of the year during the winter. Okay, so that happens this year on the 21st. If we took, we had the, uh, the atmosphere turned off, and we take a look here, we can see the Milky Way. The summer Milky Way is, is just about all but gone, giving way to what will become the winter Milky Way. If we, in a future video, we're going to take a look at that. Okay, so we see Sagittarius just setting here. Capricorn is here. Fomalhaut here, just want to mention quickly, we mentioned Fomalhaut earlier, Pisces or Strenus, or the southern fish. Fomalhaut is the prominent star, the brightest star in that constellation. Okay, so let's go to Universe Sandbox, and we can see what this looks like if we were to take a vantage point beyond the Earth's orbit and look out at our solar system. What would we see? So I set the date here for the 14th of December, a week from today, exactly. And if we find the Earth right here, okay, and we're going to position our viewing angle such that Saturn and Jupiter are lined up. When they're lined up like this, we call that a conjunction. See, I seen from the Earth, we align ourselves with the plane of the solar system like this. Okay, this is, and we're here on the Earth, vantage point of the Earth. We're looking out into space. Okay right here in Stellarium. This is what it looks like, okay? Now, as the two planets get closer and closer together, as they apparently in the sky, they're going to come together and almost seem to merge as one. Okay, so let's, let's run this forward and see what happens on the 21st. And you can see them right here, even on the 14th, which is a week before. It looks quite spectacular, so. Let's run it forward.
speed it up just a bit. We're at the 16th. Seventeenth. You notice there's not much change from one day to the next here. Okay, the nineteenth. Twentieth. And the twenty first. We'll stop it there. We'll zoom in. Okay into the earth, center on the earth, zoom in, just leave it like that, looking across the solar system with the sun here, sun to the east, looking directly across the solar system, and we witness Jupiter and Saturn in conjunction, and this is what it looks like in the night sky. So this particular configuration, or this um, this configuration won't be visible, such as this, for another 60 years until the year 2080. Now, how can we see, how, what's the best way to see this? Well, if you just go outside and look up, yeah, it's a pretty impressive sight to see just on its own, without any optical aid. Okay. This particular scene is at 5.15 on, on tonight. So let's, let's advance it forward. Turn off the constellations. Advance it forward. Right. So previously, 13th, 14th, this is the view we started at when we looked at the uh, Look at it. Looked at it with Universe Sandbox. Okay, so here we have it set on the 21st. Okay, this is a week before the conjunction. And this is what the sky will look like at 7 at 5:15 in the evening. That day, this on the 21st, the sun sets at 4:24 Eastern Standard Time. So this is not quite an hour after sunset. So we're into, well into twilight. Astronomical twilight is coming up. Okay, astronomical twilight is considered one hour after sunset. So this is just about 45 minutes after sunset on the 21st. Rather, it's on the 14th, so it's going to be close. Okay, so let's continue forward. Next day, 15th, 16th. And here we have the waxing, beautiful waxing crescent moon right here. Zoom in on that. That makes for quite a stunning sight. Okay, in the same field of view, if you have a pair of binoculars, this would be a beautiful view here. You can take this all in in one, in one view. Okay. The waxing crescent moon, just a few days old, just a few, excuse me, about 12 hours old. All right, Jupiter and Saturn. Now let's advance this forward just a bit, zoom out from the moon. Okay, there's the moon now to the east of Jupiter and Saturn, and you notice that the two planets have come together. Also pay attention to the time while we do this. Because as I move the dates forward, the, although the time will remain the same, the sky is going to get a little bit darker. And we'll get to its, its uh, darkest point for a given time on the 21st. All right, and here's the 18th. The moon, this is a beautiful sight. Just go out in the evening, just look, out, look to the west, the south-southwest and you see this beautiful sight in the sky, Jupiter and Saturn. Now what I'm going to do here is use Stellarium to zoom in on them. And this is what we'll have. This is what you could see in a pair of binoculars. This is what it would look like. There's Saturn and Jupiter. Okay. 19th, watch this. The 19th. Okay, 
didn't work as expected, but let's try that again. Trying to get them in the same field of view. Advance the tape. No, that's not going to work. Okay. Let's leave it as is. Okay. With a good pair of binoculars, you will be able to see the moons of Jupiter, the four Galilean moons, Io, Callisto, Ganymede, and Europa, and Europa, and the large moon of Saturn, Titan, right here. Okay? That will be clearly visible in a pair of binoculars without a problem. To the 20th. Advance up to the 20th. Okay, we can zoom in on them a little bit more. Clearly, if you have a telescope, a wide field telescope, this would make for a stunning view. Right there, and finally on the 21st, you're going to look like this in your pair of binoculars. As seen in this view, Saturn is going to be just to the northwest of Jupiter. The moon is first quarter in that night, too, right up here. So if we won't go backwards in time a little bit, it's a beautiful view right here on the 19th. Okay. So this is the great conjunction of 2020 of Jupiter and Saturn, not to be witnessed as such for 60 years from 60 years hence. All right, so it's a good opportunity. If you've ever, never seen something like this, please take the time out to look. It's a, a site that you won't soon forget. And please encourage your friends and share this, uh, share this event with your friends, family, friends, and colleagues. Uh, something that won't be seen. Basically, it's a lot more rare to see something like this than a, uh, even a solar eclipse, a total eclipse of the sun, okay, which we see once about every 18 months or so. So this is quite rare and quite spectacular, a double conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. That'll be on the, um, the 21st, the winter solstice this year, December 21st, 2020 is this year's winter solstice. And if you're interested and so inclined, the University of Exeter is hosting a live event titled The Great Conjunction 2020. All right, you can get involved. If they can, they're going to live stream the event. Um, so check for updates. The, web, the website is here. It's entitled jupitersaturn2020.org.org. Okay, and that's going to be hosted by the University of Exeter in the UK. Okay. Okay, folks. Um, that kind of that about wraps up uh, this video uh, for the Great Conjunction. And please uh, do leave your comments and suggestions in the uh, comments section below. The great philosopher Plato famously said, "Astronomy compels the soul to look upward and leads us from this world to another." Astronomy for Change is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to effect positive change through astronomy and science education. It is our belief that by inspiring and empowering current and future generations to become interested and engaged in astronomy and science, this positive change will be realized. If you found this video helpful and educational, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, 
why not consider supporting us on Patreon? Head over to our homepage, astronomyforchange.org, click Support Us via PayPal or Patreon, and choose a membership level suitable for you. Every little bit helps, support, helps us produce the great content and further our mission. Also, why not consider becoming a member? Membership is free at Astronomy for Change. Head on over to our homepage, choose the membership, membership link here, click it, put your name and your first name or, and your email, and you'll be added to our list. You'll receive a comprehensive digest of all our videos and articles and all our great content. Joining and becoming a Patreon, a patron, helps us grow and more fully realize our mission. Thank you. This is Dr. Jim Daly for Astronomy for Change. Until the next video, please stay well and keep looking up.